I paid $116 for a 4K flash memory video camera, but the only problem is that it's broken. So in this video, we're gonna try to start it up and see what's wrong, and then we'll see if we can fix it. This video is sponsored by Noom, more on them in a minute. This is the Sony FDR-AX33. We've got a charge battery in it, so let's start it up and see what happens. Okay, the lens opens, that's good. We actually do have a picture on the screen, but we've got E6210 flashing on the screen. I think that's some sort of lens error. And I just also just noticed we've got kind of a, uh, this plastic piece right here, it's kind of popped out. So what I'm wondering is if this took a fall or something like that and maybe jammed up the lens or jammed up something in here. So I think what I'm gonna do first is just start taking it apart and see if we can get down to this area and see if there's anything obvious going on in there. So let's start the disassembly and hopefully I can keep track of all these screws. The Sony FDR-AX33 retailed for about $849 new. They don't sell them new anymore, at least not from Sony or Amazon, but on eBay, they're still going for five to $700 used. So this is still worth a decent amount, assuming we can get it fixed. Now I am by no means an expert on this type of camera. I've disassembled a few before, fixed a few of the smaller ones, but I'm trying to, I feel like this lens just always pushes over to that way. I don't know if that has anything to do with the problem or not, but kind of makes me feel like maybe it does. Also, we need to check this entire piece right here to make sure all of this is working good and it's not bent or anything like that, because if parts of this are bent, it could be rubbing on this piece right here. So we need to make sure that all of this is in good condition. So now I've been checking the ribbon cables on this and I don't see any problems with any of them so far. They all look really good. I don't see any places where they're torn or anything like that. One thing I did notice though, is there's a crack right here and a crack right here. So I'm guessing what happened is this thing fell and dropped to the ground and probably cracked this part of the plastic. It also makes me wonder if maybe this metal piece is bent. So I'm gonna take this out and let's take a look at it. It's definitely not bent up here. Oh yeah, it is bent down here though. Right along here, you can really see it. But we definitely wanna bend that back to its original form and then we'll look around a little bit more and see if we see any other problems. This is a pretty flimsy little piece of metal here. It's even bent right down here as well. So this whole piece is kinda of like bent forward. So we gotta fix that problem for sure. Oh, that's getting way better. That's almost perfect right there. Okay, we're gonna call that good. Let's inspect a little bit more of this front piece here. I don't even know what it's called, but let's inspect a little bit more and see if we see any other damage. So this all works nice and smoothly. I don't see any problems with that at all got kind of like a dent right here and right here along this front piece so this was definitely not treated that well by somebody or it could have been just one one fall I don't see anything else in here that looks like it would cause a problem at all so I'm gonna get this metal piece installed back onto here and then we'll check the camera itself and see if we can find any other damage from whenever it took that fall as a dad and a husband, one of the things I'm always trying to do is to be my best self so I can be around as long as possible for those I love. So managing my weight in a healthy way is extremely important to me. That's where Noom comes in. Noom helps you learn how your mind works and the why behind the decisions you make. Learning, not dieting, is what leads to real lasting change. As someone who sits a lot, whether I'm doing repairs or editing videos, I've found that it's very easy for my weight to start to creep up without me really even noticing. I've found that I can lose a lot of that weight just myself, but that last little bit is really hard for me to lose. Noom uses science to help keep you on track to meet your goals. One of the lessons in Noom that has helped me the most is the lesson on how to eat less dense. This lesson helped reinforce in my mind the things that I can eat as much as I want of and the things that I should be a little bit more careful of. I love that Noom's program doesn't prevent me from eating the foods that I really like that I know aren't the best for me. They just help me understand how much of that food I should be eating. Using Noom's program, I've been able to lose around four pounds just in the last month and I'm still 
eating all the foods that I really like. I love using Noom to track my food and my exercise. That way I know about how much I can eat during the day and still not lose track of my progress. If you're like me and you just can't quite get to your weight loss goal, I recommend giving Noom a try. Click on the link in the description or go to noom.com slash tronicsfix to start your free evaluation. That's n-o-o-m dot com slash tronicsfix. So we gotta be super careful not to bend this thing going back in. It's not a strong piece at all, but it can cause a lot of problems. Now that piece sits in there nice and flat. Now looking at this piece, I don't see any parts that are bent or broken anywhere. The impact seemed like it mostly affected this side of the camera because this is the part where that plastic uh, piece of the case was kind of uh, bent out a little bit. That's why I'm looking at this the most. And I don't see any other parts that are bent or anything like that. This whole assembly in here seems to move freely. So I kind of feel like I should try and put that, that front piece back on and then just put it back together enough to test and see if that was enough to fix it. Okay, and that actually all went on surprisingly well. I was just using my metal pick to line up the holes. When there's multiple layers of metal down here, it's hard to get the screws in there. So I just used this to pry around a little bit very gently and line up the holes so then when I go to put the screw in, it just goes right in. Now we just have to get this ribbon cable in. Ribbon cables, especially ones that are bent like this, a lot of times I just get some tweezers and pull it over till it's about where it needs to go. And then I just try and get it pushed in with my fingers. Obviously being super careful because it would be very easy to break a little ribbon cable like this especially using metal tweezers. And it looks like we just got it pushed in. Yep, and it's good. This part looks really funny when I'm putting it back together, but that's actually how it's supposed to be to fit the curve of your hand. So even though that totally doesn't look right, it is right, so no worries there. So we gotta get one screw in here, gotta get the bottom on, and this little trim piece over here, and then I think we'll be able to start it up and see if it's gonna work for us. And now those screws are all installed. The battery's installed. Now we can turn it over and try and turn it on and see what it does. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, good news so far. I don't see any error up here. Let me turn it off and turn it back on and just check it again. And there we go. This camera is totally fixed. I didn't expect this camera to be such a simple fix, but hey, I'm not complaining. If you like this type of video, you'll probably like the video where I tried to fix two broken $1,600 camcorders. I'll put that link right up on your screen now so you can click on that Come hang out with me over there and see if I can fix them. And lastly, if you'd like to try out Noom, I'll put my link right in the description so you can just click on that link and it'll take you right there. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a good one.